The steep slopes of some downtown Chattanooga neighbors are putting builders and residents against each other. And the city is trying to determine how to best allow new development and protect the property of neighbors. Aaron Cooper joins us now with more on these new recommendations. Aaron. Josh, Kim, the council asked the regional planning agency to conduct this study to show what sloped areas in Chattanooga look like after they were developed on. And it turns out that some very familiar areas near us are causing more problems than meet the eye. Tuesday's presentation on steep slopes and floodplains by the regional planning agency covered a lot of ground. So we're going to see more development in the future happen, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I think the question is how do we establish standards for the right amount? Including how the ground that leads up to AT&T Field poses a potential safety hazard. The RPA says the driveway leading up to the lookout's home is on a 16% incline. They say EMS vehicles have trouble driving on anything with an incline between 15 and 18 percent. The report presented to council today was prompted by citizens concerns. A lot of citizens value our beautiful city and all it has to offer. One place in particular, Knickerbocker Avenue. Councilman Jerry Mitchell says the greenery here disappeared from erosion over a span of just two and a half years. I mean, one person had to put a huge rock detention kitchen pond in their backyard. With a list of 10 different ways to approach any future zoning, the RPA is trying to balance the needs of new housing with the concerns of those who already live in our scenic city. Yeah, you'll probably hear from folks on both sides who want more <laughs> restrictions, some who want less, and we try to take a look at what other peer cities are doing and best practices and recommend what we think is an appropriate mix. Now, it's still too early to tell what, if anything, will be done from these findings presented to council today. The RPA will be meeting with council again here on November 12th to talk about some more findings and see where the council might want to go next. Reporting live downtown in Chattanooga, I'm Erin Cooper, News Channel 9. Thank you, Aaron. The council and RPA speculated today it could be years before any sort of ordinance is set in stone.